Hello everyone, welcome to Solve Source Classes. This is Tushar Shaw, and in this video, we will be continuing to solve the BHU PET 2020 questions that we were solving since the last uh, nine videos, I guess. Okay, so in the last uh, uh, in the last few videos, we have did up till question number nine, and uh, for therefore, we will be starting from question number ten in this case. Okay, so uh, before starting the video, let us firstly discuss about uh, the a few features about uh, the, this BHU PET exam so that you can follow up the questions properly whenever needed to and you can then uh, solve the questions okay so basically uh, bhu pet is the examination uh, conducted by banaras Hindu university so for admissions in msc okay admissions in msc and basically we are uh, the, this exam is uh, uh, con uh, conducted for all subjects of science but we are uh, solving the chemistry paper so we will be uh, focusing on chemistry okay so uh, uh, this was this was the first like uh, the admission of the uh, admission in msc chemistry so uh, uh, they have they have this MCQ type of questions uh, in the paper and all of the to the total amount of questions that are there is 120 questions okay so and for 120 questions you will be given 2 hours of time overall in that uh, in the on the day of the examinations okay so basically you are been given uh, uh, 1 minute for each question one minute for each question if you solve it ideally <laughs> okay so other than that uh, uh, most information i would like to give uh, yeah so marks distribution so for each uh, right question you will be awarded two marks and for each wrong question uh, you my half marks will be deducted okay there is no such uh, device uh, the, uh, rule for the mass distribution for different sets of questions because only MCQ questions are given and only uh, 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 two marks set set of questions are given only. Okay, like uh, for example in IIT jam we have uh, question paper, question sets like we have uh, two marks question, one mark question, and no negative mark question. Uh, different types of MCQ, MSQ, NAT, all kind, all kinds of questions are there, but it is not there in this case. Okay, so uh, like from that perspective, it is like easy because you won't be um, uh, stopping the flow of uh, question from any of the ways uh, because all of the all of the type of type of questions would be the same. Okay, like the order of questions would be the same. So this was all about the uh, the question pattern and the type of uh, question type of paper that uh, BHU PET is, and we are solving in this paper in this video the 2020 paper of BHU PET, and uh, basically we are we are solving question number 10. Okay, so let me just um, uh, show the question number 10 to you. Okay, so question number 10 says that nucleophilic substitution in quinoline occur at n atom alpha position beta position gamma position okay so let me just firstly draw the positions in uh, uh, let me use another ink so we are talking about quinoline so let me draw it kind of bigger So this is the alpha position, this is the beta position, this is the gamma position and this is the n atom. Okay. So these are the positions that are uh, like asked uh, by, by in the option they are mentioned. Okay. Now uh, we are talking about nucleophilic substitution. So basically what is nucleophilic substitution? An NU minus that is a nucleophile. What is a nucleophile? Basically a species that has negative charge on it and it is searching for a, a, a site to attack. Okay, so a nucleophile having a minus charge would uh, uh, would be uh, would be uh, like uh, they have only four positions, all these four positions available for attack. That is the n atom, the alpha, the beta, and the gamma positions. Okay, now on where the attack will be the most feasible. Okay, so first of so let me just show you all the four conditions and then you will be understanding how uh, what are the basic uh, the thing that are there. Okay, so uh, in, in the first option, so, uh, if the attack is uh, in the n, n atom. Okay. So what what will happen is we take the nucleophile, we attack it over the n atom. This bond will be opening up. N, we have this nu, 
and we have this minus charge over here. This minus charge can go, can go in delocalization with this to form uh, this kind of species. Mm. And then the resonance will be going into the ring and uh, giving us uh, all kinds of chemical structures. Okay. Huh. Uh, so this was the attack at. Uh, uh, let us say the uh, n n position. Okay, then we will be choosing the attack at uh, alpha position. So let us say let us see what will the product then. So alpha position means this side. So n u minus would be attacking over here. So for the first step would be uh, the minus charge would be going into the uh, like would be moving up to the uh, n atom. Okay. We have NU over here and the other bonds are intact as it is. Now, uh, this, com uh, this compound is more stable than the other uh, chemical forms. Like this chemical form is more stable. Why? Because uh, uh, the minus charge is over an electronegative atom. Okay. The number of chemical forms that will be formed uh, uh, in the first case, that is in the uh, N attack and alpha position attack would be the same. Okay, but the extra stability of uh, having the minus charge over the uh, over an electronegative atom is not there in uh, in the uh, first option, and therefore this uh, this uh, chemical form is extremely stable. Okay, so and as the chemical form is extremely stable, this product this uh, compound would be formed more. Okay, and then the uh, this uh, uh, minus charge would be moving into the ring and going in delocalization. All the stuff will happen, but that is not our concern. Basically, the, the number of chemical forms would be same except for the fact of the stability over of the minus charge over the n atom. Okay. Now, uh, let us see the attack at beta atom and what uh, let us see what will be the product over there. Okay. So, N is over here. Um, so we have N U minus, which will be attacking over here. So uh, this bond will be opening up. Minus charge will be formed over here, and the other thing will be remaining as it is. Then this would be going into delocalization and those kinds of stuff. So we will be getting canonical forms. Okay, no speciality in this reaction. So uh, let us move on to the next part which is uh, attack at the gamma position okay so d which is the attack at gamma position so the nu minus would be attacking over here we will be getting minus charge over here and here we have nu okay and the other the bonds are bonds are there it is as it is again this would go and this would for give a minus charge over the n uh, lone uh, uh, over the n atom okay so minus charge would be here and here would be one double bond nu now, uh, so in this case, you can see, uh, like uh, for for any aromatic species, you know that uh, ortho position and para position are both stable if there is no, if there is not such, such amount of steric hindrance. Okay, so in the in this case also, attack on alpha position which resembles the uh, ortho position and attack on the uh, uh, gamma position which resembles the para position basically they would be having the same extent of products and not basically the almost same extent of products and uh, the stability of uh, the stability range of those, these two attacks would be almost same okay now the, uh, obviously this is the not uh, not the msq type question to to for uh, for the answer to be given in uh, two options okay so we need to judge which one of the options b and d is more stable Okay, like both of them would be having lone pair in the uh, uh, in the uh, this one that is the nitrogen atom, but the attack would be more pre preferred in the alpha position. Why? Because uh, uh, 
like uh, uh, what would happen is directly the nucleophile that attacks uh, in the alpha position would have would give the uh, uh, intermediate that has the uh, nitrogen at the uh, uh, nitrogen with the uh, electron pair. Okay. Now in this case the, uh, the electron pair electron pair firstly has to go through carbon atom which is kind of uh, unstable less stable than nitrogen one and after that it is uh, getting attaining the stability of uh, having the uh, minus charge over the nitrogen. Okay, but in the alpha position, the direct attack gives us the stable, uh, stable. Uh, let us say, uh, the <coughs> the intermediate where nitrogen, uh, where nitrogen has the lone pair of electrons over it. Okay, so that is why uh, we we have uh, uh, the option B here would be the correct answer, answer which is uh, uh, that is the alpha position. Okay, option B here would be the correct option. That is the alpha position. And uh, the, uh, 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 from this, you can you uh, you know that uh, uh, the a, at n atom at beta position and at gamma position, why the uh, electrophilic substitution nucleophilic substitution cannot be cannot be like possible. Okay, it is possible because alpha and gamma position products both will be formed if uh, this kind of substitution by any certain nucleophile takes place. But we are uh, like we are um, uh, asked to choose one, and uh, among among uh, the uh, alpha and the gamma position uh, 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 the product, the alpha position takes precedence a little more than that of the gamma position. Like if you are like uh, saying in percentages, uh, 55 to 60 percent of the product will be of uh, alpha position and uh, 40. 45, 40 to 45 percent of the product will be of uh, uh, beta position. I'm sorry, gamma position. Okay. So basically, there is a 5 to 10 percent of a difference between the two uh, uh, reactions occurring. Other than that, uh, both of them will be considered as the major product. Major product. Okay. Basically, this question is not kind of correct because uh, uh, when we are talking about ortho para directing, you already know that in aromatic species, uh, 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 like a functional group when it is attached to a benzene ring, it is either ortho para directing. Or meta directing. There is no such, such thing as only ortho directing or only para directing. If there is no steady hindrance and if there is no other functional group attached to the ortho or the para positions, the uh, functional group that uh, uh, activates the benzene or deactivates the benzene, the activation will be occurring at both the ortho and the para positions. Okay. And similar to that case, uh, here also we will be getting both alpha and gamma position product as well but the only difference is that uh, because of the stability uh, in uh, in uh, in the nucleophilic attack and the and the type of resonance structure which is formed we will be having uh, the alpha and the beta products um, uh, for they differ by just a small percent that is 5 to 10 percent okay so thank you guys for this video i'll see you guys in the next one and in the next video we will be uh, uh, starting from question number 11 okay so thank you